Four personal finance tips for millennials. The millennial generation. The financial crisis and painfully slow economic recovery have been especially hard on many young Americans, including members of the millennial generation. Many millennials are graduating college with crushing student loan debt and poor prospects for finding a good paying job that utilizes the skills and education they acquired while in school. While this scenario does not paint a pretty picture for the current income prospects of some millennials, the picture is even worse when it comes to some millennials' future retirement prospects. According to a recently released study, the average recent college graduate won't have enough assets to retire until he or she is 73 years old. In comparison, the current average retirement age is 61, or 12 years earlier than this projected retirement age for millennials. Retirement might seem like a long way off for someone who's in their 20s, but the reality is that the sooner young people start saving for retirement, the more time they have to benefit from compound returns. In fact, time is the greatest ally of young people when it comes to saving for retirement. Some tips to help millennials get started with a retirement savings plan. Number one, financial literacy. Boost your financial literacy. In a financial literacy quiz, only about one in five, that's 18% of young millennials, 18 to 26 years old, got either four or five out of five basic financial questions correct. This is according to Financial Capability of Young Adults, brief produced by the Investor Education Foundation. The results among older millennials, 27 to 34 years old, weren't much better. Only 30% of them got four or five questions out of five right. Jarrows says low financial literacy is an especially serious problem for millennials because many of them will have to make most retirement financial decisions themselves. This includes deciding how to invest money in an IRA or a 401k plan at work. In contrast, many of their parents and grandparents had pensions in which most of the investment decisions were made for them. Start saving. Start saving now. The biggest advantage young people have when it comes to saving for retirement is time. So utilize this advantage by starting to save for retirement now. The news here is actually somewhat positive, as about 6 out of 10 millennials, that's 61%, consider themselves to be savers, according to a recent survey conducted by Wells Fargo. An example helps illustrate the importance of getting an early retirement savings start. A 20-year-old will build a retirement nest egg worth a million dollars by age 65 if he starts saving $361 a month at this age, assuming a 6% average annual return. But if he waits just five years until he's 25, he has to save $500 a month to accumulate a million dollars by age 65. And if he waits until he's 30, he'll have to save $699 a month. Three, out of debt. Get out of debt. Many millennials are dealing with heavy debt loads, including student loan debt. The median student loan debt for college graduates today is $23,300 according to a study conducted by personal finance website NerdWallet. However, this debt will actually cost students more than $115,000 by the time they retire when you consider that they'll be paying off debt during this life stage instead of putting this money toward retirement, the study projects. Four, Social Security. Understand the reality of the Social Security situation. Many millennials seem to grasp the fact that Social Security as we know it today may not be available to them when they retire. In the Wells Fargo survey, more than a third of millennials said they don't expect to receive any retirement income from Social Security. And 21% say they have no idea how much money to expect from Social Security when they retire. One expert predicts that Social Security will still be available to millennials when they retire, but benefits will be lower and the retirement age will be higher. In general, most millennials should not plan their retirement finances around Social Security.